Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode on Elm Cheese Stack series. So guys, in today's video, we'll create a lightning web component and we will bind a list view in it. Yes, you heard it right. We will be binding a list view. The, it could be the default list view available into the Salesforce or, or maybe a customized one. Okay, let me show you one example of the list view. So, you know, it would be easier to understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is my default org. And let's move to contacts. So guys, as this is a list view, the uh, recently viewed list. Okay, so let's create a new list here. Let's name it uh, contact test view. Okay, all users can see this list view. Okay, so guys, we will be uh, wiring this list view. So we'll basically, we'll be getting the data as you can see the data in this list view here. Let me create one more record. Okay, let's save it. So right now we are having two records into this list view to recently viewed and this is contact test view. Okay, so let's create a new lightning map component first. Control shift P and create lightning map component. Let's name it wire list view. Okay, and it will be in the default directory. Okay, so first of all, we will just copy the XML part and let me just copy it from this one. Okay. All right, so this was the XML part. Okay, cool. So now let's start with the JavaScript part first, okay? So we will wire the list view. So we need wire here from LWC. Okay, then we will we will import uh, get list UI from Lightning UI list API. Okay, then uh, we will be displaying uh, context list view. So definitely we need to import contact object as well. contact object from uh, salesforce schema slash slash contact okay and we will display we can display multiple fields here but for today's example let's take name only import name field from so we will schema slash contact dot name okay guys so we are having contact object here and we are having the name as well okay then we will simply just wire this function which is get list ui and we will pass some parameters here uh, so we need to pass the object API name here, list view API name, sort by if required, and page size because uh, we don't want to retrieve all the records at once. Okay. So object API name. Now, now the question is, guys, how you can get the object API name of list view? I mean, if you've created it new, then you can definitely uh, check it out while creating the list view, but Let's say if you are if you have to get the object API name of uh, existing list view, so you can just do one thing. You can just directly hit the gear icon and click on this rename. Okay, and here as you can see the API name of this specific list view. Okay, let's go back and API name will be uh, contact object. Then the next thing will be the list view API name 
and it will be contact as list view let's have sort by we'll have sort by name field okay and base size let's have base size 20 here okay and but after that okay so we have wired this get list view ui and uh, we are having object api name we are having list view api name we are having sort by and we are having the base size here okay now we will use get contacts let's make it plural and here we will return this dot list view data dot records dot records all right let's save it and it is saved now okay get list ui this is cool this is fine this is fine okay now let's go back to that html part now okay let's copy the html the basic html thing from one of the component mm, let's have a, this this one okay let's minimize it again and open this now we'll create closing tags lightning card okay guys so in the html file we'll be getting the contacts here so we will create a template here and we'll create a for each loop on contacts okay and and for item we can have a con okay so the template is here let's create a paragraph tag and have the contact id as key here so we will use con dot fields dot name dot oh, sorry id fields dot id dot value here okay and we will display contact dot fields dot name dot value all right so seems like we are good to go and let's try to deploy this wireless view and let's see if we get any error. Okay, so it's a new scratch talk. So I will do push source to default talk. Okay, meanwhile it is getting deployed. So it is a new scratch talk. It means I'm not, I won't be having my old applications here. Yeah. So meanwhile, let's create a new app. Let's go to app manager and new lightning app let's name it lwc stack everything else looks fine okay next standard navigation okay next we don't need utility we don't need any navigation right now because we are not having any page for this available profile let's have system administrator here and save okay so the app has been created this is my application let me edit it all right now we will create a new lightning page first let's have an app page uh, let's name it 
wire okay and let's see what we can have here let's choose three regions here so we can have multiple examples together and let's see if a component okay we are having an error here okay it says missing semicolon Okay, it is due to one of my old component. Let me just remove it. Delete. We have not received any error. And I think files are deployed now. Okay, let's go to this page. Refresh this. Okay, let's open the application now. So this is our application. We are having single page here. Let's click edit page. And our component should be here. Here it is. Okay, it says error cannot read property uh, records of undefined. Okay, so we have to check it one more time. Anyways, let me save it and let me just keep it. Yeah, I know there will be error. All right, I think, guys, I'm missing. I'm. I was doing a. Uh, case sense or uh, maybe you can say typo here so this should be fields okay actually I was using field only here so this should be field to fields to get the uh, fields here so let me just deploy it one last time okay it is deployed and hopefully it should work now all right great success here so guys uh, that's how you can bind uh, list views into your lightning web component okay so guys uh, that's it for today and if you like today's video subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching